what's going on guys so uh today i'm gonna talk about why i bought a bmw s1000 but first i need to get some gas so let's grab some gas and then i will go over why i bought my bike here this one specifically this one all right okay so a nice full on gas so run around smashing last night so i rode all night till like 2 a.m and this is up all my gas, I had to get any gas, but um, right now I am going to head to the shop and uh, pick up my S2000 so I can get it registered so I can maybe start driving it. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it, but, but yeah, that's what's going on today. So I figured on my drive there, I would uh, tell you guys why I bought my... BMW S1000 RR. Oh fuck, damn it. Stay right there. Good, good. I'm trying to give a little fucking Willy rip. I don't know if my tire is warm enough. Probably not. Probably just spin, but let's see. Ooh. So yeah. That's why I bought. The BMW S1000, all right. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of reasons why I bought this bike. So, a little backstory for you guys. Um, I actually, this is my fourth uh, Rocket motorcycle that I've owned. My first one, I had a 2001 uh, Yamaha R6 carbureted. Um, Great bike, love that bike. Had a full DND exhaust system from headers to tip. Um, I had it geared uh, down one, up two, and I love that bike. I mean, that bike ripped. It was it was sick. I mean, it was my first rocket, so of course it was fucking fast for me. But so I then later sold it. Um, kind of a dumb mistake on my part. I thought I was going to be doing something different as far as work goes. So I sold it, and then I went on get another bike, which. A little bit down the road I did, I got an 04 uh, CBR uh, 600, and then I had rode that for a while. I mean, that bike was nice, it was fuel injected, so it was a little bit better versus the carbureted. You know, it didn't have as much startup issues, or wasn't running rich and stuff. Um, just had like a Yosh pipe on it, I'd say, otherwise it was stock. And then, I rode that around, I mean, that bike was nimble and light, which I loved. That's probably the one of the only perks that I liked about that bike is how it cornered and everything else. Um, I honestly like my R6 better, otherwise when it came to power and everything like that, but down the road, so I sold that bike. Um, kind of have bike ADD, you know, I ride a bike for a summer or a year and I sell it in the winter time, so. So I sold that bike and then later on down the road, I've been looking for bikes, looking for bikes. I was trying to get into a CBR 1000 at the time. I had a couple deals fall through. Um, shit, like financing just didn't work out. And, you know, guys sold it, whatever. You know, it just wasn't wasn't meant to be. So I uh, later came across a uh, what are they? And so I later came across a um, Jixxer 750. It was an 07. Uh, my buddy had it just been sitting in his garage for like a year or something. He got tired of it just sitting there. Uh, I kind of had higher mileage, about 16,000 miles. So. Picked that up from him for a really good deal, and I really like the 750 aspect of it. You know, my my girlfriend rides with me quite a bit, and so having that torque, you know, and that low range power when just cruising around town with her on the back really helped. So once I had the 750, I knew for sure at that point I was gonna want to go into a thousand. So once again, I was looking for CBR 1000s. You know, I love the bikes. I love. You know, those newer generations, I heard they handled like a 600, but they had really good power, like a 1,000. I love the way they look. So I was looking for a 12 to 13 because the older ones had the oil burning issues, with like bearings and shit like that. So I was looking for a 12 to 13, looking, looking, looking. And I had always, you know, done like I'm sure everybody does and just gone on to Craigslist and Cycle Trader and everything else and just looked at prices at BMW S1000s. Um, I've been looking at them since they, you know, early came out, you no know, 9 and 10 and stuff. They're looking at like 10s. But they were just too fucking expensive for me and I just couldn't afford them. So I've been looking. 
And then I saw they came out with the 15s, and the 15s to me, it was just like, that's it, that's that's the bike. And so I just started working at 15s. I mean, this was early 2016, so early this year. So bikes are still very, very new, still very expensive. So I've been looking, looking, everybody's won, you know, 19 grand for them, and I was like, there's no fucking way I can spend that much, so. I was looking, looking, and then this exact bike came up on Craigslist. It was $14,900. had 1,400 miles on it. Um, already had, you know, frame sliders. Already had the arrow slip on. Already had the sergeant seat. So already had a lot of stuff that I would want on mine. And so I was like, oh, shit. So I tried jumping on it right away. The guy told me it sold. Well... The guy who actually bought it ends up hitting me up because they were friends, they knew each other, and he uh, he said, asked me if I want to buy it. So I was like, well, fuck yeah, I want to buy it. You know, he knew it was worth a little bit more. He actually wasn't doing me or anything like that. He basically just wanted his money back because he wanted to get the, like a new uh, 1098 uh, Panigale. So it worked out in my favor. Actually, you know, I drove 400 miles to get this bike, and then I... By the time I picked it up, I paid fifteen seven for it. That was essentially just to cover, you know, his costs. You know, he had to pay taxes and titling and all that, and it was, you know, a little bit more. And now he made a little bit of coin on it, which I was totally fine with because at, you know, mid fifteens, this bike was still pretty cheap, pretty affordable for the price. You know, it was, uh, you know, had less than two thousand miles on it, so basically brand new. Um, Marty had had its first oil change and, uh, you know, a slick chip put in and all that, and so. I was totally fine with paying that. So total after taxes and everything on this bike, I was in it for about 16,200, you know, taxes about 600 bucks and stuff like that. So, you know, not terrible. I've seen some of them on the market now with, you know, a little bit more miles, about the same price, but it's just kind of, you know, market timing. So I'm not, you know, like pumped that I got a killer, you know, amazing deal, but I'm pumped that I got one that I could um, be okay with when I, you know, want to go to bed at night. You know, it's so fucking expensive when I, make the payment and insurance and everything every month but but why i chose this bike i was actually looking at you know i saw the 2016 zx10s came out and i saw they made the changes you know they made the rake different so it handled a little better a little bit shorter wheelbase more power you know had all the electronics traction control and all that but at the end of the day the bmw to me especially the 15 just you know stood out i'd already loved it you know in 2010 and then they made the improvements in 15 and and it was still you know pretty much smashing everything and so that's why I did it. You know, I always kind of wanted a Ducati, but I just heard that they're uncomfortable, they're hot, they're a track bike, they're not. You know, I've spent about 90% of my time riding. What the fuck are we doing here? Come on! I spent about 90% of my time riding on the street and commuting. Hold on, let's smash, hold on. it's just fucking fast oh my god it's fast fuck it's fast i mean i i can't even imagine having like a flash one and having it be like over 200 horsepower i just can't imagine it you know even here at elevation i'm at about 3500 feet something like that it's i'm st sure i'm still not i'm probably like maybe like 175 to the wheel or something but fuck it's fast still I mean, I love this bike. It's comfortable. It's fast. I mean, I've never had it try and kill me yet. You know, the trash control has been good when I wanted to. Most of the time I ride in user mode with the trash control off. That way I can fucking do wheelies and shit like that. But, but yeah, so my, my ultimate decision, I was actually looking at buying a new car. Because I have, like, a cheap daily. And so at the end of the day, it came down to... Uh, um, it came down to... I saw this bike, and I was like... Do I want a, a car payment or do I want a bike payment? And I chose the the bike payment, you know. To, I love cars and I, like I said, I'm going to get my S2000 and I already have that. And it's nothing fast or crazy, but it's fun. And I already have a cheap daily. Like, it's, I paid $250 for my daily driver. And it gets like 30 miles a gallon, cheap as fuck to run. And it just... You know, it just made sense, you know, not to get a $400 car payment when I already had a good car. So, instead, I got a dope bike. So, so, yeah, down the road, I mean, if you guys have any more questions, like, specifically about, you know, 
what I think about maybe certain modes or like if compared to other bikes that I rode or if I would ever get something else besides this uh, let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think uh, I'll try to answer everything um, you know I'm just kind of starting out doing this thing so we'll see how it goes hopefully it'll get better and better and I can take you guys along my journey on my uh, on my BMW here so peace out